What is up guys, it's Masters here today doing a LEGO Disney Brickheads review. This time it is on Captain Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man Tells No Tales. You can see this set comes with 109 pieces and the item number is 41593. On the front of the box you can of course just see Captain Jack Sparrow. On the back of the box you can see all of the other Brickheads in the Disney series. And then on the side of the box you can see Captain Jack Sparrow. And here is the Captain Jack Sparrow Brickhead fully complete. And you can tell that they put a lot of detail into this small little thing. But let's go ahead and start off taking a look at the actual head. The head on Captain Jack Sparrow has a lot of small details in it. You can see how they use this printed tile piece to get the mustache in there. You can see the bandana. And then on the bottom you can also see a little bit of his beard. Now bandana just does a pretty good job of wrapping around all the way to the sides here. And the sides actually are asymmetrical. On this side you can just see how the bandana sort of goes like this. And you can also see some of his hair coming from the side along with this gray piece. And then when you move to the back of course you just have the continuation of the bandana. It does break up a little bit because of the hair coming down over here but that's not too big of a deal. And then of course on the other side you can just see once again the bandana along with his hair and then this other thing on the side as well. And then of course you can also see keeping with the traditional Brickhead style that he does have the same eyes used in almost all of the other Brickheads. You can also see how they do a really good job of just really shaping this. The whole thing actually has a decently round look. The top is completely round here because of the curved sort of tile pieces which also goes well with the bandana and they do a good job of just overall getting the shaping in here of the actual head. But of course just like all of the brick heads the head does have a little bit of a problem here and that is of course that you cannot actually move it. The head is completely in place here, it does not move, you can't move it side to side, you can't move it up to and down, there's just no way to actually move it. On the torso you can see that it actually has a lot of detail and this is all from print to pieces. This right here is one giant printed piece along with this piece up here and this piece and this is kind of interesting. This piece is only connected on one stud so this is just completely movable. You can move it all around so it can be in a lot of really weird positions which is kind of interesting why they only did a one stud connection when they, they probably could have done two but I guess they just wanted to do one stud to get more detail in there which is fine. On the side you can of course see his arms where you can just see the white sleeve and then of course his hands and you can also see on his other arm that he does have a sword. Now he does come with an extra sword so if you wanted to you could have both hands holding a sword at once which is an option however I personally just have this one sword here and unfortunately these arms aren't movable once again so they're completely fixed in place. You're not going to really be able to move them, you can't move them up and down, you can't move them side to side, you can't do anything with these except for just keep it like this. The only real option you have here to move it would be to actually take this entire uh, assembly off and then just place it in a different position uh, without actually making any sort of modification to the set. And then of course you have his legs with just a very very simple build using three small tile pieces, two being a brown and then one being a light brown or tan piece. So you just resemble the sort of boots and his legs here. You can also see how a little bit of that continues throughout just the entire torso and just you know the brick head in general. Captain Jack Sparrow of course includes the typical series 1 brick head stand here and just like all the other stands they're pretty good you can easily attach the actual brick head onto it. My only problem with it is that they don't really keep the brick head all too stable because there's only a one stud connection on both legs so it can be very easy to sort of wobble it around and it's even easier to knock it off accidentally which is unfortunate. Overall, I think Captain Jack Sparrow is a very good brickhead. The build is a lot better than most of the other brickheads simply because the way his head is designed, it's just a lot more intricate and it's more interesting than the other brickheads. However, he does have just all the major flaws from most brickheads. You can see a little bit of gray in the head, which isn't too big of a deal, but some people are going to be annoyed by that. But really, he just lacks from just the lack of posability in general. No posability really is just the problem with all the brick heads. And there are ways to fix it. For example, I have a video on my channel which shows you how to add a bobble feature along with head articulation to almost all of the brick heads. 
However, I'm not 100% sure at this point if that will work on Captain Jack Sparrow, so I will be working on another solution to do the same thing, but just with Captain Jack Sparrow. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my review on the brickhead of Captain Jack Sparrow. Once again, he does have all nice details, he's a very nice display piece, but that's pretty much all he is, a display piece. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, until next time, I'll see you guys later.